<laughs> hey what is going on guys i am back with another movie reaction for you and today we are going to be on the third installment of the harry potter series prisoner of azkaban now i've loved these first two films and a lot of you guys have been saying that this film is one of your favorites or the best one and this is kind of the turning point where things start to get a bit darker and i really like the difference between the first two films with the second one being a bit darker and the first kind of being that introductory film sort of showing us the world through kind of Harry's eyes for the first time, you know, as he figures out he's a wizard himself, we're kind of in his shoes a little bit. And then through the second one, you know, it's him kind of changing a bit, realizing that it's not all nice and, you know, there's some evil people out there really. And, you know, they want to kill him. And it's pretty kind of a shock to him at first. And I'm super excited to watch this film and the next coming films, knowing that each film kind of gets better because you've spent longer getting to know these characters. I'm also aware that the actor who played Dumbledore sadly passed away and they had to replace him from this film onwards. So I hope he's just as good if not better than the first. I guess I have to see. And after watching that last film, I had to go and buy this online. Um, it's going to go straight on my door. <laughs> and that just shows how much I love Dobby. And you guys said he's actually coming back for the another film. So I can't wait for that. If you haven't seen my last two videos reacting to the first two Harry Potter films, be sure to check those out and then you'll be up to date with everything I'm aware of in the story. If you want to see more, you can check out my full length reactions all uncut on my Patreon in the link in the description. It's a great way to support me and I had a lot of trouble getting the Chamber of Secrets upload online actually because so much of it's blocked, you know. I've had to blur a few scenes but I was there editing it for hours, just kept cutting it out because it was like blocked, blocked, blocked. So kind of sucks, you know, there were some parts that I really wanted you guys to see. But if you do want to see them, just check out the Patreon. Not going to waste any more of your time. We are going to jump straight into Prisoner of Azkaban. And guys, remember, if you want to see the full length reactions, you can find that on my Patreon in the description. <laughs> Back at Privet Drive. <laughs> Vernon's still a big boy, isn't he? It just reminds me of putting the DS under my pillow when I was younger. And Pretending to be asleep, my parents come in. Maxima. Hmm. He's practicing his magic. Pretty quick intro. Who's that? <laughs> oh, you're still here, are you? Yes. I'd say yes in that. <laughs> <laughs> Good of my brother to keep you. He'd have been ah, straight to an if he'd been dumped on my. I think she's more rude than the pair of them. <laughs> Dudley. Okay. That picture of Dudley smiling just there. Can I attempt more? <laughs> oh, just you love his face so much. <laughs> just treating him like a slave. Mm. Blame yourself about how this one turned out, Vernon. It's all to do with blood. Dude, my blood would be boiling so bad if I was listening to that. And a drunk too, no doubt. That's a lie. My dad wasn't a drunk. <laughs> 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 I have a very firm Oh, he's grip. getting angry now. I think it's time you went to bed. Clean it up. Oh, she's pushing his button so Actually, bad. Nothing wrong with the bitch, then there's something wrong with the pup. Shut up! Shut up! Let me tell you. Uh, uh. What's he doing? No way. He's getting so angry. But what? What's he even doing to her? Dudley. <laughs> Again. <laughs> yeah, you got a job though. Is he just straight up killed her? Can't say she didn't deserve that. You can talk about a boy's parents like that, man. Yeah, because it's all lies. They're just the way they talk about his parents like that. You know, it's not true. Bring her back! You bring her back now! You keep. Away from me. You're not allowed to do magic outside school. Anywhere's better than here. It's true. Anywhere is better than there. <laughs> She's still there. Can you imagine just seeing that? The muggles, they're just looking up. <laughs> just waiting for something. What is that? <laughs> what? Welcome to the night bus. Emergency transport for a stranded witch or wizard. 
So what, the, the guy just knew that he was in trouble and came to pick him up. Let's not wait for the grass to grow. <laughs> what are you looking at? Yeah, what even, what, some wolf, like, dog thing? A chandelier on, on a move, bus? Move, move, move. Take her away, Ian. Yeah, take it away, Ian. It's going to be a bumpy <laughs> ride. <laughs> oh my god. Are people not just like, what is that giant bus moving that fast? Well, we're about to see you, Eddie. For Nicky Cauldron. Nicky Cauldron. <laughs> hey, if you have the pea soup, make sure you eat it before he eats you. <laughs> <laughs> Talking head. But the muggles, can't they see us? Muggles? They don't see nothing, do they? Oh, uh, yeah. The same line from the first film, wasn't it? When he's at nine and three quarters. Muggles don't say nothing. <laughs> Six, five, oh my god. Four, three, three quarters. Yes! <laughs> Who is that? That is Sirius Black, that is. He's a murderer. Got himself locked up in Azkaban for it. How did he escape? He's the first one that done it. Must be a good prison if he's the first one to get out. <laughs> Not again. The leaky cauldron. Ah, Mr. Potter. <laughs> At last. Hmm. I love all those little details that just bring the world to life. So the department was dispatched immediately. <laughs> has been properly. No recollection of the incident whatsoever. Peace out. Uh, no, thank you. He's hmm. taking advice from the talking head to not eat the pea soup. Underage wizards aren't allowed to use magic at home. Ministry doesn't send people to Azkaban for blowing up their aunt. <laughs> <laughs> that moving book. The Monster Book of Monsters. That's pretty cool. Ugh. <laughs> Why would you have a book that could eat you? Oh no, the classic under the bed. <laughs> and he's chewing up the pages of the book, look. Oh. <laughs> the tongue. The mean little boy. Harry! <laughs> Harry! Egypt. What's it like? Brilliant. Oh my God. Loads of old stuff like mummies, tombs. Not flashing that clipping about again, are you, Ron? I haven't shown anyone. No, not a soul. Love Fred and George. Of course, they got me wearing the exact same outfit. Well, not the shirt. The shirt's not the same. You are in danger. Grave danger. Has this anything to do with Sirius Black, sir? You are the only thing that stands in the way of you know who returning to power. Damn, so just broke out of prison to hunt a child down. Who do you think that is? Professor RJ Lupin. Do you know everything? How is it she knows everything? <laughs> on a suitcase, Ronald. Well, she's a know-it-all. I've got to tell you something. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're definitely going to tell them what uh, Mr. Weasley just told him. A serious black coming to get him. How's you being told that? Mass murderer. Jesus. What's going on? This film's already getting dark. The scene just started. Whoa. That's scary. What is that? Oh my god. That's terrifying. What? Sucking the soul out of him or something? Oh! It was lucky they were in the same carriage as him. The hell even was that? Who was a Dementor. One of the guards of Azkaban. It's gone now. He was searching oh. the train for Sirius Black. Wow. Those guard the prison. Dude. No wonder he's the first person to escape if that's the guards of the prison. <laughs> it's that toad. <laughs> Damn, those toads be fire, though. <laughs> I was expecting to see Neville. Oh, look, the I new Dumbledore. Words, defense against the dark arts teacher. He Professor. looks pretty good, actually. There's another defense against the dark arts teacher every year. The Dementors will be stationed at every entrance to the grounds. Really? Dementors are vicious creatures. 
They will not distinguish between the one they hunt and the one who gets in their way. It is not in the nature of a Dementor to be forgiving. Yeah, Harry knows all about that pain already. Happiness can be found even in the darkest of times. If one only remembers to turn on the light. <laughs> I love Dumbledore's quotes. You know, they were written to kind of be symbolic of life in a way. You know, it's not just applicable to Harry Potter. Fortuna Major. No, 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 wait! wait. <laughs> 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 I still don't know how the um, people work in the paintings. Like, like, are they people who've been put into paintings or what? I still don't know. You shall discover if you possess the sight. <laughs> Talking about if they possess the sight and she can't even see the table in front of her. Are you in the beyond? I think you are. Sure. <laughs> sure. Oh, yeah. Give me the cup. Oh, oh, uh, What's in the cup? You have. Grim. Taking form of a giant spectral dog. It's among the darkest omens in our world. Death. Bro. Looks exactly like the dog we saw at the beginning. Ancient rooms on the same time as divination. You have to be in two classes at once. Don't be silly, Ronald. How could anyone be in two classes at once? I got a real treat for you today. A great lesson. So follow me. I'm loving the new music every film as well. You know, they don't just reuse the same stuff. Like each area's got its own theme, you know. Exactly how ah, the monster book. <laughs> <laughs> Always long bottom. Demental, demental. <laughs> Isn't he beautiful? Oh. Say hello to Buckbeak. Buckbeak. No. Who'd like to come and say hello? Well done, Harry. Well done. Yeah, that'd be so cool. I'd be like first up. You have to let him make the first move. Looks it's only right, huge. So it's bigger than Hagrid. Step up, yeah. See if he bows back. And if he does, you can go and touch him. Not so fast, Harry. Hmm. Oh, there's something in there, isn't there? I'm going to bite your hand off. Yes. I think he may let you ride him now. What? Oh my god, right hey, 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 hey. Oh, oh, <laughs> Everyone else in that class would be so jealous. The special effects improve so much in every film. Like, this actually looks really, really good. <laughs> well done, Can you imagine flying back on that in front of all your friends and people in your class? Like, Oh, please. Well, he's obviously jealous. <laughs> <laughs> How can anybody tell me what a boggart looks like? No one knows. Boggarts are shapeshifters. They take the shape of whatever a particular person fears the most. My god, that sounds scary. A simple charm exists to repel a boggart. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Very good. Ridiculous. That's all they have to say. Devil, will you join me, please? Yes, long bottom. Professor Snape. Professor. <laughs> <laughs> I don't blame him, man. Snape's scary. <laughs> Snape. Think, never think. Ridiculous. He is scary. <laughs> Everyone form a Such a cool spell. Like what? I wonder if you can use that on anything else apart from a boggart. I'd just be using it on everyone, you know. Here's be brave. So it just changed. It's gonna be a spider, right? Yes. <laughs> Ridiculous. <laughs> the thing is, that's actually scary enough. What's Harry most scared of? I mean, like Voldemort or something. Oh. Your mother was there for me at a time when no one else was. Really? Not only was she a singularly gifted witch, she was also an uncommonly kind woman. No wonder he's actually looking out for Harry like this then. It's a pretty nice um, contrast between at the start of the film, you know, with uh, Vernon and Petunia and uh, his sister talking badly about his parents. And now Lupin's just speaking, you know, really highly of them. It's so nice for Harry to hear that, really. The fat lady, she's gone. <laughs> the knight in the background. We can move between the painting. That's so cool. Oh, look. 
that night again. Oh, that's hilarious. Who did this to you? Serious black! Oh my god, he's in the castle already. Oh, they are locking him down. Wait, they're locking him in though. Oh man, I love Snape. Turn to page 394. <laughs> All his mannerisms are just so cool and iconic, aren't they? Between an animagus and a werewolf. An animagus is a wizard who elects to turn into an animal. A werewolf has no choice. Furthermore, the werewolf only responds to the call of its own kind. Oh! <laughs> well, that's so cool. You can just, like, draw an animation. But they've just gone out of the pitch. Oh my god. A grim. I didn't know the snitch could go way out of the pitch. That rhymed. <laughs> no, is that Dementors? Oh. I don't know if you can outrun them. Outfly them. Oh my god. Oh. No! Dementors again just keep not targeting Harry, are they? Guys, let me go. I'm clever, yeah, Harry, but not clever enough. What are you doing? <laughs> What's this rubbish? <laughs> What's this rubbish, she says. I solemnly swear that I am up to no good. <laughs> Marauder's map. This is Hogwarts. Whoa. That, is that really Dumbledore? Any study? Pacing. Does that a lot. This map shows everyone. Everyone? Everyone. Oh my god. How strong is that? And Filch had it. I feel like that's so much power in that map that I don't know if I could be trusted with it. I don't think I would let myself have it. Do you want to move a bit closer? Huh? <laughs> Ron. Don't your family sleep in a uh, one room? Shut your mouth, <laughs> mouth boy. Ooh. Filthy little mudblood. <laughs> 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 That's Harry, isn't it? <laughs> I love how even though the film at the start, you know, it's been pretty dark, but you can have these little breaks of, uh, you know, comedy. When Harry Potter's parents realised they were marked for death, do you remember? They went into hiding. Mm -hmm. Few knew where they were. One who did was Sirius Black. And he told you know who. What? He didn't kill Pettigrew. He destroyed it. Mm? A finger. That all was left, a finger. Harry Potter's godfather. Whoa. So he put, his parents had like a mark on them or something. He was their friend. He was their friend! When he does, I'm gonna kill him. Is he gonna like look for him now as well? And try and kill him. You know, this is very advanced magic, well beyond the ordinary wizarding level. Oh, he is above the average wizard though. Getting power from Voldemort. Patronus is a kind of positive force, and for the wizard who can conjure one, it works something like a shield with a Dementor feeding on it, rather than him. You need to think of a memory. I mean, a very happy memory, a very powerful memory. That's really cool. Yes. Very well. How many of you are trying to think of a memory now that you would use? Expecto Patronum. Wand is ready. <laughs> See if he can cast it. Expecto Patronum! Expecto! Oh no. He did say it was a hard spell. What were you thinking? Which memory did you choose? The first time I rode a broom. Well, that's not good enough, not nearly good enough. Just do it. Damn, he's ready. Expecto Patronum! Patronum! <laughs> Oh, he did it. <laughs> well done, Harry. I was thinking of him and Mum. Seeing their faces, they were talking to me. I don't even know if it's real. Yeah, what? Well, is that a real memory? Because obviously we saw him on the doorstep as a baby, so yeah, that's weird. What's he wearing? And then Lucius Malfoy got up. Well, you can imagine, he said. Buckbeak was a deadly and dangerous creature who would kill you as soon as look at you. Buckbeak's been sentenced to death. Oh, come off it, Lucius, man. Draco, like, came at Buckbeak. Hate the, that family so much. Whoa. Wait. 
They said he destroyed him. Yeah, what? Oh my god. Wasn't it a uh, friend of his parents? Where, where is What's he? It there, boy? <laughs> what are you doing wandering the corridors at night? I'm sleepwalking. Like your father you are, Potter. He too was exceedingly arrogant. <laughs> Turn out your pockets. You better not be able to read the map. I don't think you can. Reveal your secrets. Offer their compliments to Professor Snape. <laughs> <laughs> and request that he keep his abnormally large nose out of other... <laughs> Lupin, out for a little walk in the moonlight, are we? He's clearly, it's full of dark magic. Oh, I seriously dark doubt magic. <laughs> I love Snape. Wait, is that? Wait, it's Sirius Black. <laughs> Jesus. He <laughs> will return tonight. That shall be spilt. Oh my God. <laughs> Can you imagine hearing that coming up behind you after you're just seeing Sirius Black in a crystal ball? Harry's in a, having a tough year at Hogwarts, man. I mean, last year he killed a basilisk, but like, this is already worse. So that I can keep the hypocrite's head. Yeah. <laughs> keep the head? Oh, shut up. Someone kill him right now. You foul and loads of them evil little cockroach! Hermione, no! Oh, yeah. He's such a wimp. Look at him. <laughs> oh! oh. <laughs> He definitely deserved that. That was actually a really solid punch. That felt good. Not good. Brilliant. Brilliant. That was brilliant, to be fair. Next time I see Crookshanks, I'll let him know. I meant me. Blimey. <laughs> Ow. Someone's throwing rocks at him. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if... Dumbledore made him just look that way so they can get out because like in the last one he, he's ten steps ahead like he knows everything I'm not actually gonna kill him are we? No, no don't Shame really Oh He bit me Ron Where the hell is he going? Come back Harry I'm hiding run <laughs> oh my god. Wait, you went past Harry? You're going for Ron? Not into the tree. <laughs> I'm so confused as to why it got Ron and not Harry. Because he had the grim prophecy for him. Ron, you're okay. The dog, where is Harry? It's a trap, he's a dog. He's an animagus. No. Oh. Only one would die tonight. Then it'll be you! Oh my god. Are you going to kill me, Harry? Expelliarmus! Oh my god. Stand. Let's kill him! No! What the hell? I trusted you! He's a werewolf! That's why he's been missing classes. Oh. Oh, the moon in the the bogger. Peter Pettigrew. Wait, what? He's in this room right now. Snape. <laughs> Why don't you run along and play with your chemistry set? <laughs> <laughs> but they were just saying that it was Peter Pettigrew, not serious, right? I'm so confused. No, what's he doing? Expelliarmus. <laughs> Pettigrew's alive that. and he's right there. Hey. You're rat! Oh, oh. Curiously long life for a common garden rat! No way, that's Peter Peregrew. <laughs> <laughs> that guy has been Ron's pet in his room for 12 years when he's been a kid. My old friend! <laughs> oh, he looks horrible. <laughs> So Sirius isn't out to kill Harry, he was just, he broke out of Azkaban to kill Pettigrew? How did he know he was the rat as well? Unless Lupin was in contact with him or something. Oh no. Werewolf. Have you taken your potion tonight? No, no, no. Expelliarmus! 
Oh no, he's got away. What? Oh. Oh, standoff. I remember in the lesson those snakes saying that they only respond to their, their own howl, but I'm, I'm still trying to get over the last like 20 minutes uh, and how much has just happened. Oh no, oh my god, he's battered. No, no. Oh no, they're coming looking for him, aren't they? I forgot about the Dementors. Oh my god, how many there must be. Oh. Oh no, it's not strong enough. You're not dead already. Come on. Whoa. Huh. <laughs> Who was that? How strong is that Patronus? Who is it? Who was it? Who is it? Oh, we don't see it. Oh, come on. And Master, you've got to stop them. They've got the wrong man. It's true, sir. Sirius is innocent. It's but I'm sorry to say the word of three 13-year-old wizards will convince few others. A child's voice, however honest and true, is meaningless <gasps> to those... <laughs> you know the laws, Miss Granger. You must not be seen. If you succeed tonight, more than one innocent life may be spared. Good luck. What the bloody hell was that all about? Yeah, what was that? No way. Did they just go back in time? Where were we at 7.30? I don't know, going to Hagrid's? Oh my... Come on, I'm... Wait, she had that the whole time. Wait, that explains the, um, you know, in the lessons when Ron was like, how could she be in two places at once and how did she just appear? She wasn't using that, was she? She must have done. This is a time turner, Harry. McGonagall gave it to me first term. This is how I've been getting to my lessons all year. McGonagall gave it to her? It Wait, this is crazy. Look, but we still alive. If we succeed, more than one innocent life could be spared. Oh, does he mean Buckbeak? Dumbledore again, he's pulling out so many tricks. Like, how, how deep does his sleeves go if he just keeps pulling them out, you know? Wait, no way. They threw it at themselves. <laughs> oh, this is crazy. This is like some sort of Inception film. This is like... Well, it's lucky he likes him already, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I... Quick! Oh, I refuse to believe Dumbledore doesn't know back then that they're doing this. I refuse to believe. Oh, yeah, go tempt him with the food. Here we are, follow me. Now look there. Yeah. He's still doing it. When he was headmaster. Quick, go, go. He's helping you. Oh, that's so cool. When they were looking down from the hill then, they just saw that at him chop the uh, pumpkin. Oh, man. This film's getting ridiculous. Oh, ridiculous, sorry. Whoa. I'm trying to figure out how the hell they all knew they were in there. Because I know uh, Lupin had the map, but Snape. Maybe he was following Lupin. Oh, suspicious of him. Oh, yeah. That someone made the Dementors go away. With the Patronus, I heard Snape telling Dumbledore only a really powerful wizard could have conjured it. Yeah, it looked insanely powerful. It was my dad who conjured the Patronus. Sorry, your, your dad's dead, I know. If it really was his dad, then how the hell does that work? Moon. It's so cool seeing it again from the side. It was her. What are you doing? Saving your life. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Oh right no, it's Ross. coming after him. Dude, that was running so fast. Oh my god. 
Oh, surely they got an insane sense of smell, werewolves. Oh, no! How the hell do you fight a werewolf? Oh! Oh, he's way bigger than him. Oh, Professor Lupin's having a really tough night. Yeah, he is. In a werewolf, must suck. Oh. Serious. Come on. My God, they got so much to worry about. Saving everyone. Oh man. My dad will come. He'll come to the Patronus. Wait, no way. It was Harry then, because no one's there. No one's coming. Don't worry, he will. Jeez, it was him the whole time. Dude, he's that powerful. This that Patronum is huge. Wow. So what is it with the stag they saw? Is that what you kind of see from the front? Oh. No way. Man, they're just cleaning up shop, taking care of everyone right now. I say Buckbeak themselves, serious, like, they're so good now. I want to go with you. One day, perhaps. For some time, my life will be too unpredictable. You're meant to be here. But you look so like your father. Everyone tells him, don't they? Except your eyes. Yeah, the Lily's eyes. He's starting to be a really cool character too. From the start, I think he's some psycho murderer now. Even his tattoos makes him look crazy. I mean, the prison outfit, but I didn't expect him to be cool. Like, now he's just riding Buckbeak away. Oh man, awesome stuff. Oh no way. Well, he's free. We did it. Did what? <laughs> <laughs> Dumbledore. God tier, isn't he? He really is. Oh my god. How did you get there? Yeah. Who, I was talking to you there. What's he talking about, Harry? I don't know. Honestly, Ron, how can somebody be in two places at once? Where Lockhart stood. You've been sacked. No, I resigned, actually. It is a little bit dangerous than being around, but I remember Snape saying something about how he had his potion tonight. You know, maybe he could have kept it under control, but... None of it made any difference. Pettigrew escaped. It made all the difference in the world. You helped uncover the truth. You saved an innocent man from a terrible fate. Since I am no longer your teacher, I feel no guilt whatsoever about giving this back to you. At least he gets to keep the map. It was good to him, though, Lupin. I do hope we see him again. Really cool character. He's got as much good as he has sort of bad on him, I guess. It's that kind of thing, you know, with the werewolf and him. Oh, I, I didn't mean to open it, Harry. Uh, it was badly wrapped. And... Oh, no way. Did he get a new broom? It's a firebolt. Oh, it's the fastest broom in the world. Wow. But who sent it? No one knows. This came with it. Oh, is that a uh, Buckbeak's feather? Oh, my God. A firebolt. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that was so fast. Man, is that it? No. Oh, wow. Oh, that was amazing. Wow. Oh, the Marauder's Map credits. How cool is that? Wow. So that does it for Prisoner of Azkaban. And guys, that was... That was a crazy film. It felt shorter because... I mean, it was way shorter than the first two films, I guess. They crammed so much of that plot in the second half of that film. And man, it works so well, and now I believe you guys when you told me that the films get darker. Because damn, that really took a turn. Thinking the Sirius was going to hunt him down at the start, and turned out he was good. It was all about Peter Pettigrew, who got away. I mean, Christ, that's going to lead to something, definitely. He's coming back for sure. And the way he was scabbers, like, for 12 years, what? <laughs> Crazy stuff. If there's anything wrong with that film, it's the fact that there was no Dobby and no house elves. That's the only thing wrong with it. It was crazy in the Shrieking Shack, you know, all that truth being uncovered in such a short amount of time. And we've sort of been conditioned to think Sirius was bad right from the start of the film. And then, you know, he's coming in with Lupin. You think he's bad. And they're saying, oh, let's kill him now. Just kill him quickly. And you're thinking it's Harry the whole time. And they're talking about Scabbers, Peter Pettigrew. It was just crazy. And Snape comes in and Harry just takes him down, Expelliarmus. Like we didn't see Snape going, oh Potter, how dare you use that spell on me, or something like that, you know. I was expecting him to get in massive trouble. <laughs> you know, Hermione was just like, you attacked a teacher! But my god, that seems crazy, and I think they executed it really well. 
and I'd love to know what how it happened in the books because obviously you're going to get a lot more detail and you know making a film is sort of pressure to fit it all in a reasonable amount of time no one well I mean we would all love a four hour film but commercially that's not like that viable for them so I would actually be really interested if you guys could say some little details about how the plot if it unturned differently in the books I really thought Buck Peak was awesome too you know since seeing him for the first time and it really acts as a good way just to kind of open the audience's mind up that there's all these cool sort of mythical creatures in this kind of world you know and it's quite hard to think now like what other creatures are there you know they've got werewolves you know animagus you know hippogriff all this awesome stuff i mean you know we've seen like trolls basilisks i mean the list just goes on and on in each film oh man just thinking about it now i'm actually getting really excited for the next film and the dementors as well bloody terrifying i mean that first shot in the train you know you just see like it was almost looks like a black smoke behind that train like window and the bony hand comes in opens the door like that and it's like what even is that you know these like kids on the train 13 year olds seeing this and when he performed that patronus like god he's so strong i don't even think he's anywhere near his potential but i'm super excited now for the next film which will be harry potter and the goblet of fire which sounds super interesting and again like just as i said in the last film i have no idea what's going to happen you know i'm avoiding reading anything and i hope you guys don't spoil stuff in the comments you guys have been really good actually I haven't had anyone, you know, negative or spoiling anything for these films, which is great because it's kind of ruin it. But again, guys, I just want to say thanks for all the comments and the views. You know, it's just great to see the full length reaction to Goblet of Fire should be up now as I've uploaded this YouTube video. So if you really can't wait till I've edited the YouTube version, be sure to check that out in the description. And it's a great way to support me for this stuff. You know, YouTube is pretty rough on the copyright for Harry Potter, especially. I'm glad you guys do enjoy these reactions and I do have a lot of fun making them for you guys and they're going to keep coming as long as you keep watching. So thanks for watching, leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe for more and I will see you on Goblet of Fire.